For a long time, uh, urbanization uh, drew many people into the cities, and now we are facing a new phenomenon, which is the mega cities. And of course, this has a great impact on people's life in terms of mobility, or in terms of energy or waste management. But urbanization can be supported and its impact can be limited with the right approach to the smart city. The smart city concept is essentially urban planning supported by digital technology and new models in terms of community relationships, overall sustainability, transparency. We don't think that uh, the current way to support cities in their development and to face these urbanization issues is to provide them pure technology. We, we think that the right way is to provide them services, sustainable and durable. And this means, of course, a different approach. Engineering is an Italian system integrator born 38 years ago and present in more than 50 locations in the world. We help our customers in all segments, industrial, public sector, financial, telco utilities and energy, to build solutions. We do software development, application management, infrastructure technology outsourcing, and we develop solutions end-to-end -end for every single business. Our core philosophy is to help customer bridging the gap of technology to produce business outcomes. So engineering has always helped customers anticipating and understanding technology, focusing on their business outcomes. We serve around 1,000 cities all over the world, mainly in Italy, uh, but we are growing abroad because cities now are starting to understand that digital transformation is uh, the key to empower new smart services. Technology is not uh, the way to solve the problems, but smart services are. And we simplify the use of technology by our clients, embedding uh, the technology into these smart services. And in this way, our clients can concentrate on the final results of services and not on the technology use. Our approach on digital transformation is to focus on core processes because we, we have managed these core processes for more than 30 years and so we know very well how our clients work. And now our contribute is to move these core processes into the digital transformation and of course improve these processes. But there, there is a, something more because we share the risk and then we take on us the investments with uh, a specific partnership models with, with the cities, which is called private-public partnerships. So we, we propose to the cities to create new services or to improve existing services with the technology, with the digital technology. Some example of core processes are mobility, to simplify the way the people move around the city with great impact on environment, for example, and another strategic core process is tax and revenue management. And we are managing this kind of process for a very long time, 20 years, 30 years. I think the world has changed a lot in the last five to 10 years. And the main change can be summarized in the fact that in the past, business adapted to existing technology. In the near future, I believe there will be a major shift from technology platform to business platform platforms of digital services that automate or enable new business without the need to build from scratch new solutions. First of all, there is two types of digital platforms, vertical and ecosystem. An example of a vertical digital platform is a platform that automates a specific need. For example, in a city can be a platform that automates the parking. So I can drive, find my parking location, tap in and pay. An ecosystem platform automates a full ecosystem. For example, the city where the parking is. And the ecosystem platform will automate the parking, the school, the healthcare, the social services, the street, the lighting and the waste management of that city, combining all together multiple vertical platforms. We can differentiate between social, political, government, natural, environmental ecosystems. Everything around us is an ecosystem. So what is the value of an ecosystem? Well, this is the real challenge. The digitalization has produced a proliferation of digital solutions 
that as a matter of fact produce different data, not harmonized together. This makes impossible to leverage the power of data around which the digital world is built. So we have built a platform which is called Digital Enabler, which is a kind of framework or a toolkit, if you prefer, that can be used to build any vertical or ecosystem solution. There are so many service and data providers in the city using uh, so diverse IT application and technology, and also the data are so diverse. If you mind your mobile phone, how many apps you have and uh, how many you have to use to make something simple to get from point A to B. This is the challenge of the digital enabler. How can we harmonize and synchronize all the data? How can we give value to the existing digital and physical infrastructure deployed in the city? The digital enabler is doing this kind of job. Starting from standards and open APIs, is trying to combine all the data coming from different sources and give it back to the city. It can be the city managers or the decision makers or the uh, city providers, can be public and private, delivering services in the city. One of the most important points is how to access to data because most of the companies are publishing data within silos or boxes. But in the vast majority of public services, the data are public because I'm not talking about my personal data or my health record. But if I think about the parking slots available in the street or public transportation or weather condition or construction sites, all those information are just published somewhere. The, the value is in the combination. But in a combination, you can invent, you can uh, deliver the new services. So all the providers can have uh, get together around the data and around the data, we can build new services together in a win-win situation. For, of course, we need to change the business model. We need to move to what someone is calling data economy. So the digital enabler is here to support our customer in order to give value to the existing uh, physical and virtual infrastructure deployed in the city, trying to combine the data coming from different sources, harmonizing and synchronizing all the data using open APIs, using open standards, using open technology in order to open the ecosystem. This is the reason why the Digital Enabler is an ecosystem platform, embracing all the city providers in the urban scale. I believe there is a technology revolution behind digital transformation. In the past decades, Technology has been used to produce an artificial representation of the world. This has produced a decoupling between the human being and the outside ecosystems. Nowadays, technology brings us closer to reality and nature, giving us the real data coming from the real world. For example, we digitalize the operations in the vineyard. We use sensors to measure humidity, to measure temperature, sense the grapes and the winemaker told us that in the past he could make choices only based on his experience now he has data that's the key difference we you don't need to know about technology that's the real future the future is about how to make business and technology will be just a, uh, a commodity <laughs>